Copper is a broad spectrum material with both bactericidal and fungicidal properties. Actually, it's non-selective in its toxicity. It can also be toxic to plant cells. Copper kills organisms by denaturing proteins, and it has many targets, a broad range of targets in bacterial and fung fungal cells. The free copper ions are the toxic form of copper. So copper has to be solubilized, has to be in solution for its toxicity to be effective. Now an excellent timing for copper use on apple for plant disease control is that green tip. And I'll talk about why that is in a minute. Of the many forms of copper registered for plant disease control, the fixed coppers are the best coppers to use at this early season timing. Now fixed coppers include materials such as Cooperfix Disperse, Coside, Champ, and Nordox. These fixed coppers have a very low solubility in water, typically only 2 to 6 milligrams per liter. Uh, but when they're sprayed, the residue remains on the surface of the plants in uh, an insoluble state. That's actually good because that, that works to our advantage because then that copper is slowly released. It's only released again as it becomes solubilized by water. And so uh, the residue is present, this water hap comes, the release happens over time. So that effect of the copper uh, that we spray early can be lasting. The typical copper rate at green tip timing is two pounds of metallic copper per acre. At the green tip timing, copper targets both fire blight and apple scab. For fire blight, the copper will be most beneficial if you've had fire blight strikes in your orchard within the previous two seasons. The bacterium then will, will colonize trees, form cankers on trees, and that's where it overwinters. Obviously the best control for those cankers is to prune them out over winter, but they are easy to miss. And so if you had had fire blight in the orchard within the last two years, this copper is a backup strategy in addition to the pruning to control those fire blight bacteria as they ooze out of those cankers in the spring. So the objective then is to coat the trees with copper at this early timing, the residue remains on the tree. As we progress towards bloom and the pathogen activates and, and starts oozing out of cankers, then the copper is an effective bactericide if there's water present to solubilize it and it comes in contact with those oozing bacteria that are coming out of cankers. Now this early season copper application strategy can be defeated if we get more than three inches of rain between green tip and bloom or before temperatures warm and activate the fire blade pathogen from cankers. Unfortunately, because of phytotoxicity issues with russeting down the road, these are the chances we have to take and why we have to apply the copper early for fire blade control. Now the, the issue with the three inches of rain is that's about the amount of rain that would be required to remove all those copper residues from the tree before they can be effective in killing the fire blight bacteria. Copper is an effective scab fungicide as well, and so we can double dip with our green tip fire blight spray and get control of scab also. While copper is not quite as effective as EBDC or Captan fungicides, the important aspect of this first spray for scab is to get it on ahead of rains, ahead of the first apple scab infection period. This green tip timing, the inoculum load coming up from the ground is typically low, but it's still present, it can't be discounted. The amount of green tissue to protect is small. So mainly, our overriding concern is to have the trees covered and protected in advance of apple scab infection, apple scab spore arrival. Copper serves that purpose well. Finally, applying copper compounds after green tip increases the risk of fruit rusting particularly in our Midwestern and Eastern U.S. climates. Thus, if you plan to use copper after this timing, you have to use lower rates to guard against phytotoxicity. Be sure to consult the Michigan State University Tree Fruit Management Guide for the most up-to-date information concerning fungicides and bactericides for tree fruit disease control, rates, timings, and efficacy against specific diseases.